with all the videos I've done on the AX53 camera, one of the questions I get asked the most is uh, about a problem with using it on the tripod. Uh, a lot of reports say that um, when you use the AX53 on a tripod, it tends to kind of move around a bit. So the, um, the lens mount that uh, is so good for this kind of uh, steady sort of stabilization gimbal thing is uh, a problem when it comes to actually just being completely stable on a tripod. So that's what I'm going to try today. I don't really use it much on a tripod. I've never really had any reason to. Uh, so I'm going to try it on, the, on this. I'm going to stick it on this. So this, as tripods go, this is pretty good. It's well over spec for this camera, but, um, but it is a really nice and stable tripod. So I'm going to give it a try on this one and see how it does. So let's fit it on here. The view is oh, a nice day today. Uh, so let's just, it's pretty, pretty nicely aligned. And uh, I'm going to just stop this because I'm going to have to turn off the stabilization because we're on the tripod now, so I don't need any kind of stabilization on. Of course, you would turn that off as standard. Right, so that's with the stabilization off, so I can just sort of just pan gently left and right. And you can see that the results on this tripod are good, but of course that's not really where the problem is like. It's gonna be far, far more noticeable if you zoom in. And uh, let's just zoom in on this camera now and get some nice results. Let's see how it does. So let's just knock the body around a bit. So yeah, if I tap the body, of the camera, of the tripod, you get this kind of effect. But if I'm just using the pan handle on the tripod, like that, I don't really see any problem with it. Um, I guess it depends on the stability of your tripod, but let me just, am I fully zoomed in here? Yeah, so that's, that's fully zoomed in. Uh, it is, of course, with the stabilization off, as I say, uh, you, you would get a higher zoom with the stabilization on, but I wouldn't never want to use it on a tripod like that. So let's just do a pan across. And let's stop on these chimneys. And there we go. And so if I stand on the floor now, stamp on the floor. It's not a stable floor, this, by the way. You can see that, yes, you do get movement, but that's because the tripod's moving and we're zoomed in at like 400 mil or something. So of course it's going to move. So I guess the answer to the question, is there a problem with a tripod? No, not really. It pans okay. It looks okay. And uh, any movement you get through the camera body is exactly the type of movement you'd expect to get through a camera body and through a tripod um, when you're zoomed into that you know, that, that amount, you'd get that through any kind of camera or anything, really. Uh, of course, if the tripod was on, a, on, the, on the ground and not on this, we're on a sort of decking area here, it would be much, much better than that. But um, yeah, don't see any problem with it. What a nice day. First nice day of 2018. Cold, but sunny, love it.